hello and hello and welcome to the hooked on needles craft cast my name is maricela or mari if you prefer this is episode 31 and today is april 28th 2018 hello everyone i hope you have all been well i have been well myself uh been busy trying to finish up some projects and starting new ones which i'm really excited about so yeah let's get going with what i have to show you i apologize for the glare over here and my shininess um, little man and i were just dancing our little tushes off we were um doing some just dance because he loves to dance so all right, let's jump in with finished objects. Uh, let me see what I can do about this lighting situation. I don't think that fixed the lighting problem, but the glare in my glasses just doesn't seem to want to go away. So this is what we are going to work with. Um, sorry about that. Uh, okay. So let's get going. Um, Oh my gosh, what did I do? Here they are. <laughs> uh, the first thing I have to show you guys is or are the striped leg warmers that I was making for my niece. They are done, but she will not be getting them because I was not happy with the way that they turned out. I love the colors, but as you can see, I messed up here. And um, also my color changes and the way that I tried to weave in the ends, it just, to me, it does not look, it is not acceptable for me to give these away to someone. And I don't know if that's just like the crafter in me that I'm like, my stuff needs to be to a certain standard. Um, because I know not everybody, you know, it'll be like, oh, it's fine. They don't even know. But I know. So it bugs me. So I didn't want to give them to her. I think instead of doing that, I will be looking for some self-striping yarn. And, um, and then probably giving them to her then because, uh, yeah, I am not so happy with, with that finished product to give away. Um, I will keep them and I will wear them or my daughter will wear them. Um, just because, yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think I can give them away just because like it said, look at those. And then, uh, they ended up, my color changes ended up with big gaps and so I was trying to hide them and I did not do a good job so yeah okay first finished object moving on to this beautiful doily that I made I looked up a tutorial here on YouTube and this is what I found it is gorgeous I love it, especially in this solid color. I did try to do it with a variegated yarn with this one, but it was not working at all. It was mm -mm, no, no good for that one. So instead I did this. Uh, those yarns that I just showed you are both Premier Yarns, Fair Cotton, uh, 52 Cotton, 40 eight percent acrylic and um this is the vibrant peach color and um i will be making another one of these i really liked it i will be going to get a different solid because um yeah i really 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 liked it it came out wonderful and this is what was left oops sorry this is what was left of that skein trying this lighting situation, geez, it's a peach color. It's not as bright as it's showing up. I'm sorry. 
And for that, I used a three millimeter hook. I doubt you will see the size, but it is a three millimeter hook. And um, yeah, so I have that done. And like I said, it was amazing. It was a tutorial from Joanna Stoniak. I will write the name of her channel here so that you guys can go check it out. Um, and yeah, uh, it's, it's a totally awesome Mother's Day gift, I think. Um, maybe with like a vase and some flowers. Uh, okay, and then... I also made this hat, which is the Branta hat. I will just put it here. You guys can look that up. Saving me some editing. And that's by Kimmy Anderson. It is a free to, uh, pattern on Ravelry. It is a color work hat. And I highly recommend it if you are new to color work and you just want to um, try it out, see if it's something that you would be interested in. It is very um, beginner friendly and you end up with a beautiful hat. And this one's mine. I used some leftovers of my Fibra Natura um, Lima that I had. It's a worsted weight. And for the brim, I used um, four millimeter. And then for the rest of it, it was five point, I'm sorry, 4.5 millimeter. Here it is. And this one does call for a pom-pom. I mean, it's optional. I think pom-poms are always optional. Uh, but I have not decided if I will be adding a pom-pom to it or not. We will see. But I love the hat either way. It's different shades of like uh, brown, I think. To me, it's like brown, like a brown, reddish brown, and a dark brown, and a more muted brown. I don't know if it would be brown. It reminds me of like colors of bricks. <laughs> Because you know how the like, bricks have all those different shades? That's what I thought of anyways. And I'm also kind of judging myself more on my stitches and see how they're like not so consistent. Mm. One day it would be like a machine knitted these. And I will be the machine. <laughs> um... Anyways, and then these two hats, oh my gosh, I love them. Like, I love them. This one just came out of nowhere. Um, My son was like, hey, mom, it's been a while since you made me a hat. And I was like, okay, let's go to the store and get you something so I can knit it. And so I took him to the store and he chose... um this beautiful Malabrigo. He he likes Malabrigo. I love Malabrigo. But this is their DK weight. Um, it is in the colorway Aniversario. It's beautiful reds. And it's so funny to watch him choose colors because he's not afraid of colors. And he like asked me to get a couple of them down. And he was like, look at this one, mom. And very, like, he really thought about which ones he wanted. And I think it was like a, ones with green shades. And we've already done one with greens. And then um, one that was like dark, had darker colors. And then this one. And he was like, no, this one's more, you know, colorful and I, I don't have any that are like this. So I think we're going to go with this one. I was like, okay. And that's the one he chose. And this is the Rocky Ridge hat. I'll put it down here. And I don't know if it says who it's by. It's the Rocky Ridge hat. Saving myself on some editing. It is a free pattern on Ravelry, and it is by Willow Loft. 
is the design. Um, so it is a beautiful, beautiful pattern. Um, I'll see if I can get close to it. Um, it the pattern does ask that you use two different needle sizes, but I used a 3.75 the whole time. Um, the pattern, I believe, calls for a 4 millimeter and a 4.5. And, um, yeah, I didn't, uh, I think because of the stitch, it's quite forgiving to stretch. And when I was done, oh, my son was like, oh, mom, it's perfect. It's just perfect. And he put it on right away. Um, this week we have had very gloomy days and rainy days here in Georgia. And, um, when I went to pick him up, it was so cold and he had forgotten a hat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so when I picked him up, he's like, it's perfect and I can put it on. And so he put it on right away. Um, so yeah. And then something that I also wanted to talk to you about was that um, if you do decide to go and get this um, free on Ravelry, like I said, and you are going to close it. Okay. So this hat is closed rather quickly i think it closes in like five or six rows so when you are if you do decide to make it then i highly recommend that you try it on and if you think it's perfect add like two rows just to make sure two or three rows because like i said just the quick closure will shrink the hat by quite a bit maybe like an inch um, so yeah, I actually tried it on myself and believe it or not, uh, my, my son has a bigger melon than I do. Um, so I tried it on for myself and I was like, oh my gosh, okay. I don't know if it's ready yet. It was a little bit big on me and I did it. Um, I decided to, to close it up and on him, it's like perfect. And so, as you can see, like, it was a little bit loose on me when I tried it on. And just the closure of it and how, how quick it closes, it really tightened it up. So, be aware of that. Um, she does give you measurements, but like I said, I would, I would suggest that you give yourself a couple more rows. Um, but, yeah. And I really, really loved it. I really, really loved this. Um... Um, this pattern it is beautiful and the yarn totally helped and then the last one is like oh, I, I was so glad when I finished it and I was like even more ecstatic that how beautiful it turned out this is the Macklin hat that I had shown before that had barely had any love last time um can you tell I'm trying to save on some editing time <laughs> um I'm sorry I've just been short with my editing I just so there it is Macklin hat it is here's mine I love it, you guys. Look at, is that where I join? Is that where I, all I see is my imperfections. Jeez, let it go, some would say, right? No, why? <laughs> Anyways, here it is. I love this hat. I love it. I love it. I love it. It, it, it does take some concentration. I'm not going to lie. It does take concentration, but persevere and you will end up with this beautiful hat it's so gorgeous i love it um the hat itself in the picture i showed it does show that it's quite it's a little slouchy right there um the pattern i believe calls for seven repeats and i only did five of them so mine is a little bit tighter but not too tight um like beanie more beanie style and i love it i really really do it is I think one of my favorite hats now. Um, I have yet to add a pom-pom. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet or not. Um, but yeah, also a great Mother's Day gift, I think. Um, it's so beautiful. I am definitely going to make 
more of these. Um, I think actually one for my sister-in-law. I think this would fit her uh, perfectly. Um, I have beautiful sisters-in-law. So anything looks good on them. <laughs> um, but anyways. And yeah. This is my last finished object. And I am just so glad with all the stuff that I have finished. And happy. And yeah. So I'm going to do a, something a little different. I don't know. I don't remember if I showed these to you guys yet already, but if I have, I'm sorry, and if I haven't, well, here they are. Um, there is a girl named Ashley that has a, uh, she actually does make videos as well. Um, I think it's Ash, Ash Love Makes is her Etsy store, and I got these adorable bags. I got two of them because she was having a great sale. Um, it was, it's this llama, pink llamas. I mean, pink is not my color, but geez Louise, when it's llamas, who cares what color they are? <laughs> they are gorgeous. And she does a great job with her bags. So this one is a, um, drawstring and I do prefer drawstring bags, um, rather than zippers just because I don't, I get scared that my stuff is going to get snagged on there because I actually had to cut yarn the other day because it snagged and there was like it broke when I was trying to um unsnag it it just broke I didn't cut it it was it broke and here's the other bag this one is a zipper bag and she does give you a little pull to go with it and here is her label I don't know if you can see that and this one just has cute little uh, Paris scene, a Paris scene. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love it. Like I said, I don't remember if I showed these um, last time or not because um, I just remember that I ordered them and like within less than a week they were here. So, yes. And here is her. Sorry, let me do that again. Here's her little card. And isn't that adorable? It's a little heart. Ash Love Makes. Like I said, she has a channel. If you are an English speaker or a Spanish speaker, she is a, I believe she was. she's from Puerto Rico. And then right now she is living in Idaho. Um, but yeah, so she's got her channel. Um, if you want to go see her, like I said, that's her her stuff. So, um, that is, I guess some acquisitions. Like I said, I, if I showed these already, I'm sorry. I don't remember. Um, and then something else that I wanted to show because my son was making a point that I should show it is that he made me a little caddy for my needles. So first he came down with this part and then he was like, Oh, that's for your needles and hooks. I was like, oh, thank you. And I think I was, I don't know if he saw these or I was using them or something, but these are shorter. So that he's like, oh, hold on, give it back. He goes upstairs to his room and then he comes back with a smaller one for my smaller needles. And those are just my tips, but he doesn't know that. So he made it, you know, to accommodate each thing, which I was like, thank you so much and he was like make sure you show it on your podcast and I was like okay why he's like because people like Legos and it might boost up your views so because he wants me to boost up my views he brought down his spaceship and wants me to show his spaceship and look it moves and here is his little spaceship that he made. Look, that's the little thing and the little control and the little person. I was like, why Why are you giving me Legos? And he's like, mom, people like Legos. And if people like Legos, they're going to see your video and then it's going to boost them up. So don't you want to boost up your videos? I was like, I guess. I don't know. So please give me some thumbs up for the Legos. I will tell my son. Um, I he's so adorable. 
<laughs> he really does. Uh, he's such a sweetheart. Um, again, something else from my son. We went to the store and he got me a llama mug. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? We haven't named him yet. I was telling my daughter, we haven't named him. And he's and she was like, do we need to name it? I was like, I feel like a llama cub needs a name. Yes. So we have yet to think of one. But um, it was so cute. We went to the store. He grabs it. And he was like kind of hiding it from me. Sorry. Um, anyway, so the little cup. We go to the store. He's like kind of hiding it. And I'm like, hey, what, what do you got there? And he's like, oh, I don't want to show you, but okay. And I was like, okay, what is it? And he's like, well, it's something for you, but I want to pay for it. And I was like, I can pay for it. He's like, no, 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 I want to pay for it. So then he shows me the cup. And he goes, I want to buy it for you with my money. I want to pay for it because I just do. I was like, okay. And he did have his money with him. He carries his little wallet everywhere. Um, and so I was like, are you sure though? You don't have to pay. He's like, please, please. I want to pay for it. And I was like, okay. So he bought me my little mug and I love it. And he's such a sweetheart. What's going on with that guy, man? But I love it. And I said, thank you. So yeah, that's all my acquire, acquired things. Um, um, let's jump into my works in progress, which I have somewhere. I'm going to show you these with a shameful, shameful, <laughs> shameful face because, I'm sorry, I haven't touched them. <laughs> They're my girly feeling socks. And I completely forgot to put them in the car. I do most of my knitting in the car uh, whilst I'm waiting for my kids to get out of school and stuff. So um, I completely forgot them. I know I was like really hoping to finish them. I really have not touched them at all. So um, maybe this time, since I think this is the third time I talk about it, maybe this time I will get to them. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, no love there. And then I also, I actually did work on um, these socks for my brother-in-law and made a lot of progress. But geez, Louise, do men's socks take forever. They've got such big feet where I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm already at the hundredth row. Can I stop now? Um, because mine... I think gets to 65 uh, rows before I have to put in the the toe. I mean, the heel. Sorry, the heel. So getting to 100, I'm like, are you kidding me? Come on. So uh, I don't know about these guys sock knitting, man. I am like, what? Um, anyways, I will finish them. But I also decided that. When I knit more men's socks, I will be using a, um, you know, thicker weight yarn, <laughs> not fingering. Um, anyways, and then I also did not, this project also didn't get any love. Uh, I had the pattern here with me. This is the Brickster hat by Tannis Knits or Tannis Fiber Arts. And yeah, I did not give it any love at all since last time um, that we spoke. Um, so hopefully, I have been knitting on socks a lot. I was working on my brother-in-law socks and I had been working on some socks for my friend, which are in here, but I can't show you because she watches and I want her to be surprised. But I had been working on those. And um, yeah, I made a lot of progress, like I said, with my with my brother-in-laws and hers too. So um, 
I actually had to remake my friend's socks because I was using a bigger needle than what I thought I was using. I thought, because usually I use a two millimeter, but with hers, I was using a 2.5 maybe. Um, no, yeah, 2.5. I don't know. They were coming out too big. And so, um, I had to restart, rip them out and restart. So I would have been finished already, but because I had to restart, I was like, nope. Um, so anyways, and then I am also, um, I also started this. I believe I showed you the kit I got from my husband. Thank you, husband. And I did try to make the Charlie Brown. Uh, here is his beautiful little body. And she does a great job. Like, look, it's got its little collar. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But he's got his little collar on there. But I messed up. I don't know what I was thinking. And I put the face on the wrong side of the head. It should have gone here. The little eye should have gone here. And then the nose. But nope. I messed it up. Put it on the side. What was I thinking? I don't even know. But... I messed it up and I don't have enough yarn that was provided to um to make another one so I'm going to have to try to find some yarn that might go with it because I'd already made little arms and everything and it's so adorable she does a wonderful job explaining it is a pattern by Tweeny Chan from California and she yeah she does an awesome job um so if you are interested in one of the kits i highly recommend it um but yeah so that was kind of a a bump on the road there um but i am going to i am hoping to finish that and get that done and then um okay so I was in a little bit of a slump from uh, knitting the socks and just feeling like I was not going anywhere. <laughs> um, and so I actually did not knit or crochet or anything for about three days, I think. Three to four days. I don't remember exactly. But then I was like, the only thing that is going to get me back to knitting is if I cast something else on. So I cast on. <laughs> something new and I believe in the last episode I had talked about me going on my Ravelry and wanting to knit up patterns that I have already purchased because like I've stated before I don't like me personally I don't see the point in getting something and then not using it so I was really mad at myself at the fact that I kept getting other patterns and free patterns and so I was like um I really, really need to just go through my library and see. And so when I saw this one, I was like, yes, please. I want to do this. This is the Derecho by Laura Ayler. Look at that beautiful thing. This is it spread out. It is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. I'm loving it. There are seven sections to this pattern. Um, she asks that you use a light color, a medium color, and a dark color. So I had my loved ones, my my son, daughter, and husband choose one each. So my light color, I don't remember who, who chose which, but these are my colors. My light color is a Malabrigo sock in the pearl colorway. And it is gorgeous and heavenly and beautiful and soft and squishy and just, I love it. I love it. I love it. <sighs> okay, so I really am in love with Malabrigo. That's my light. My medium is another Malabrigo sock. It is in the color ochre, which I felt like a total dummy when I 
was trying to read this because I was assuming that it was in Spanish. And I was like, I have never heard of that word ever in Spanish. I have heard of ochre, but I have never heard of, of it in Spanish. And then I don't know if this happens to other people who speak more than one language, but sometimes your brain just goes like, you know, then they, it just, it doesn't work <laughs> with the different languages. Like where sometimes you read something and you're like, what is that? Is that Spanish, English, French, Chinese? What is it? I don't know. And I say Chinese because sometimes it does feel like I'm reading something that I just don't know. And it's like super easy, like ochre. Anyways, this is a yellow. And I was very frustrated, as you can tell, that I was trying to figure out a word in Spanish and it wasn't in Spanish. So anyways, that was a yellow. And then the third color is... A Madeline Tosh in the BFL. Um, and it is in the color Mill Pond. Right there, Mill Pond. And uh, this one is 420 yards. The, um, the Madeline Tosh. And I have come to realize something, you guys. I have come to realize that BFL and Merino are not the same and that I prefer the Merino. <laughs> um, I just think it is so soft. And the Malabrigo both are 440 yards, by the way. Um, it is just like butter. Like it is delicious. Um, I... <sighs> I love Malabrigo. Like, seriously, I'm so in love with Malabrigo. Um, it is so bouncy and just so soft. And this one is nice as well. Don't get me wrong. It is, you know, warm and everything. And it is squishy, but not as squishy as this one. It's just completely different. So, Malabrigo, y'all. <laughs> it's super soft and so here is my progress I can I will only be showing it to you because it is a paid form pattern and I don't want to give anything away so uh, although it is a tangled mess I gotta say because it just is oh my gosh sorry like seriously everything is super tangled up all over the place Doo -doo -doo. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love it. And I honestly was like super iffy about these colors. I was like, what are y'all doing to me? But I think it's going to be fine. I totally love them. I, um, I am loving it. I am on section three and I just started it this week. Um, and, uh, there are seven sections, like I said, and I feel like because of how much bigger the last couple of sections will be, I feel like section five would be around the middle of it. So once I get to section five, I'll feel like, okay, I'm almost there. Um, and then keep going, but I am loving it so much. It, a beautiful pattern. She does a really good job explaining it. And, um, Make sure you read it if you do get it. Make sure you read carefully because I had to restart because I messed up and um, I messed up right at the beginning. So I was like, it'll be okay. Um, you do begin here. Is that too much to say? Anyways, um, so yeah. Um, I'm loving it. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, I did get it when it was on sale, but totally worth the full price if I were would have paid it. Um, because I usually get my my patterns when they are on sale. Um, so yeah, but I am loving it. It is beautiful and wonderful and coming out great. 
So besides the tangled mess, you know, it's all good. And yeah, I think that's all I have to show you guys. Um, like I said, I am hoping to make a couple more, either doilies or mandalas for Mother's Day. Um, and, oh, oh, excuse me, get the hiccups. Um, and yeah, and hopefully I'll work on these suckers for a while, jeez. Um, because seriously, shameful, shameful. Um, let's talk a little bit about what I've been up to. Um, I've been good. Last episode, I talked about my mom passing away and, um, slowly everything is going um uh i have i've had a little difficulty um kind of uh i don't know dealing with uh with other people's reactions to my reaction um but you know to each their own and everything's okay um, so yeah, um, I, it's hard to sometimes accept people who don't always accept you, you know what I mean? Um, so anyways, but all is okay. Um, we are getting through day by day, my sisters and I, my brother too, um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to take some time to get used to her not being there, but you know, it's okay. One day at a time and we'll, we'll get through. Um, and on happier news, um, my birthday is coming up and my husband surprised me and said that he will be here for my birthday Yay! because, uh, he travels quite a, a lot. And so, um, He's not always here when uh, birthdays happen and stuff. So, I mean, he he does try to be here when his birthdays happen. But there are times where, you know, he just can't. And that's okay. It is what it is. Um, but this year, he's going to be here. So, I'm really excited. Um, and, yeah. And then my biggish one, my 14-year-old, she's going off to um, on a trip with her school and I'm so excited for her. Um, this isn't her first overnight trip. She has gone to one before. Um, but I don't know. I feel like this one, because, you know, she's older, like it's going to be a different experience as well. And um, I am just, like I said, so excited for her. I hope she has a really, really good time. Um Sometimes I think, uh, it's good, like, um, for her to, for her to do these things, uh, on her own and everything. We actually went and got her, her own, um, little debit card for her to, you know, shop. Uh, she's, she's been saving her money since she knew that this trip was happening. Um, which I also think is super, super responsible of her. Um, and, um, I, I don't know. I, I'm very thankful for my kids because, um, you know, she, like I said, she was saving. So when we were like, oh, you know, we're going to give you some money for the trip. She's like, no, no, it's okay. I got it. Like I've been saving up and I want to use my own money. And I was like, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, like, she's like, I, I, I don't feel like I have to ask you because I've been saving. I was like, okay. So again, I'm like, dang kids <laughs> but um I'm so happy with my kids and so so I don't know like it just makes me get all the feelings anyways dang kids <laughs> um, uh so yeah so that's something exciting for her and I haven't decided yet I was looking up um fiber festivals here in Georgia. Um, I really want to go to the Georgia Fiber Fest this year. I really do. I don't know if it will happen or not. I mean, who knows? But there is one coming up next, I think next weekend. 
And since husband will be in town, maybe we'll go to it. But I'm not sure. Um, I think it would be nice to like, have a little adventure. And our daughter won't be here. So it'll also be like a little time one-on-one um, -on -one with the little one. With our little-ish one. And um, smallish one is what we, <laughs> we say. Smallish one. Um, and so that'll be nice. And... Uh, but we'll see. We haven't decided yet. Um, I told him I don't feel like it's necessary. And as I mentioned before, I I do feel selfish when I'm like, yeah, let's go to Fiber Fest because I know not everybody's into it. So I don't know. I just feel like, why? But my husband's always like, well, why not? Let's just do it. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see who wins this one. Maybe we'll have to rock, paper, scissors it and see who wins. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've been up to. I am really hoping to get all this stuff done. Um, I am feeling good. I am, I'm just, I'm good. Um, like I said, sometimes people's comments or, I don't know, I guess, uh, Sometimes they get to me, you know, uh, none of you guys. Thank you so much. By the way, I didn't even say thank you for all of your lovely thoughts and, and words that you, you said, um, in the last episode and your condolences. I really, really am grateful for them. And, um, like I said, I mean, not to sound super, um, oh, there's a word for it. Jeez, words they are so hard. Um, like down about it but there's no no one is escaping that end <laughs> regardless of whatever um so I don't know I feel like I shouldn't be dwelling on you know that stuff because it happens so yeah anyways oh I'm super excited I know not everybody's into this but I am super super excited about Infinity Wars Oh my gosh i it's already out by the way we're not going to go see it and we are debating whether to be a little mean to our daughter because she's going to be gone next weekend uh but my husband will be in town so maybe we were like hmm maybe we go to it without her because she's gonna be off on a trip that we're not going on <laughs> And I was like, I don't know. I kind of want to do it. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't know. We'll see. So I don't know. Like I said, another rock, paper, scissors moment. Um, But yeah, so I will be saying goodbye. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your time with me. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Please um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. and um subscribe if you haven't yet um i look forward to seeing you guys next time hopefully in may and i hope you are all doing well please take care and hasta la próxima